As you can see, I have removed a few mods from my printer here. Starting to have some issues with some serious filament rubbing and the printed bearing that I printed for my filament roller um, just started shredding. So uh, it was printed in PLA and it totally came apart on me. All right, so as you can see, this is my old filament roller guide. It worked really well for quite a while, but if you look at it, you see all this white powder. Um, that is ground down filament. Uh, and that actually, you can see the grooves from the wheels of the bearing. I used a printed bearing. And if you look in there, you can see so much ground down filament dust that it's ridiculous. Uh, it's coming off all over my hands and it just, the, the actual wheels inside the bearings have uh, become displaced. So now it doesn't actually turn properly. Uh, I mean, it turns, it's just wonky, and it's causing a lot of grinding. Uh, before I put this on, I was using just this guy, and as you can see, the filament also ground and wore through there. So we're looking for an alternative solution for our spool holder, and I noticed on Filament Friday that Chuck Hellebeck had an excellent spool holder. So we're actually in the process right now of printing a Sidewinder spool holder. Um, it is off of Thingiverse, it is Chuck's mod so i'll put a link down to that down below um and he did feature it in filament friday this week so if you haven't checked it out uh i'm gonna link to that down there as well um his video wasn't dedicated specifically to this he has a nice package on amazon for under 300 bucks where you can get an ender two rolls of filament his kit a bunch of nozzles and a bunch of other stuff so definitely worth checking out if you're looking for a bundle deal but he also mentioned in there some of his favorite printable mods and when i saw this I decided this was the way I wanted to go because uh, basically it's going to mount on the side here, uh, right on that back leg, and uh, it'll hold the spool out to the side and pretty much feed it directly into the extruder without any extra guides or anything. I do still have this arm guide on here, that's going to be coming off as well, uh, and I am going to have to remove a couple of bolts up there to get the spool holder itself off. But we'll go through that whole process, so I'll show you how to do this, and I obviously need to do some cleaning and maintenance to my machine. So as soon as this part's done printing, we are going to have a pretty much total teardown and wipe down and cleaning of this Ender 3 and get it back up to ship shape. I mean, it's printing really, really well right now, but it's kind of dirty. So, All right, so first things first, let's take a look at the model that we printed in order to do this mod. And pull it off of here. Release nicely from the bed. Uh, looks pretty nice. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. So, uh, I do need to clean the mat. I'm not going to bother putting that back on now. We are going to take a couple other things off and clean them. But just real quickly, <clears throat> I have a dust rag here um, to kind of do some wiping because this thing is a mess. I, I definitely don't clean it often enough. Uh, but you guys aren't here to see that, so... Alright, so what we're going to be doing here is removing this and placing it here. Um, that's where our part comes in, and we'll do that now. First, of course, I gotta remove the filament. And once that's done, I'm gonna shut my machine off because I won't need it on, and I'll probably need to move it a little bit during this process. So, remove the spool, disconnect the USB cable that's for my PC. It's not actually attached to anything right now. And I will tuck the Spool away. Our next step is going to be removing the bolts from this part here. Uh, and for that, you're going to need your second largest socket.
And you can fish the lock nut right out with it. You're going to need that as well. If it doesn't come out, uh, you have the handy dandy screwdriver. Where did I put that down at? Ah, it's just the screwdriver that came with the Ender 3 here. Um, what we're going to do is just go through the loop, tilt it back, and it pops right in. Alright, so we have our spool holder removed. It's here. Um, and we have our part. Let me turn on the light so we can see here. Sorry, the table's a little messy. I did clean out some of the parts of the Ender 3, like I said, I was going to be there. <clears throat> Get this out of the way. Uh, and basically, what we're going for is going to be this right here. And I'll show you how to assemble this in the next step before we go to the back. Alright, so basically, the first thing you need to do is insert these lock nuts into the slots on the side, the square slots. So you place those. And you set your screws in there. And go ahead and tighten them down a little bit to make sure you get a grip. And get them threaded in there. There it goes. And once you've done that, you can go ahead and tighten them the rest of the way down. Don't need to over tighten them. They don't need to be super tight. They do need to be tight enough to hold, obviously. Um, but you also don't want to put any compression on your plastic and break anything and weaken it structurally. So about there is good. And we will come back to the back of the printer here. And I'm going to pull this this cap off. And basically, this guy is going to use the V-slot and slide right in. Now, we don't need to put it in too far because we can adjust it and its path to the extruder there. Um, and we will do that here momentarily. Let me get a roll on here. Now, there are two ways to put the lever on. You can put it on in either direction. Um, I chose this direction because uh, when the arm was facing the other way, even butted up over here as far as it could go, this was moving too far. This should work well. I'm not too worried about rubbing here. And sorry about that. Need to grease up my Z rod. Cross. Okay, so um, we're in the Bowden tube. And we are in the hot end. Machine's not on, so I'm not going to pry on it any more than that. But let's take a look at how we look here. And that is pretty dang sexy and here we have our Ender 3 sporting its new fashion let's fire it up and see if it prints as good and as always guys I am Technivorous thanks for watching this video don't forget to hit the like button you can subscribe right here by clicking on the icon and I put a couple videos up in the corner one of them is going to be my latest video my latest upload and the other one is going to be what YouTube recommends for you so Feel free to check those out. Don't forget to hit that bell for notifications down below, and we'll see you guys next time.